rubber edging onto the arch. Uh, we have uh, made metal extensions, as you can see it's quite tight here and what's going to happen is the extension pulls that out so it's actually square all the way around. So we've had to make that piece, you might be able to see the hole in the corner. Uh, and the extensions are painted, they're just there. So I'll wait for them to dry up and I can put them on. So, <clears throat> a couple of quick things here. I've put all the seals in. Uh, it's a good idea to do this um, a little while before you're going to put the glass in. It just gives the seals a chance to open up a little bit and, uh, and kind of find a bit of shape. If you can do it, if it's inside, definitely go for it. Because um, what you will find is, is they take a little bit of knocking around to get them in. I certainly wouldn't advise um, uh, putting it straight on the window and trying to do it. Just give them a day or so. It's a real good way of uh, getting them to to lay properly. Because they, you know, they're, when they're wrapped up, they're wrapped up in and uh, made as small as they can, and they get creases and things in them. So, quick point I wanted to show here. Obviously all the window seals are brand new, but the door seals uh, are, are from other minis. <clears throat> I mean, it's a track day car at the end of the day. So, um, I just want to show you the difference, and this was actually pointed out very nicely on uh, um, Classic Mini Culture, they've changed the name to. I think it used to be called Board at 50, uh, and he made a good point on this. So this is an older style seal. Well, you've got one uh, break in it there uh, and normally there was a, a little rain channel there and then and one on the front uh, obviously this hasn't got that rain channel on it but it's a track day car so if I take you around the other side you can see the arches look real nice on that uh, so I've got the back window on in as well so I'll take you around this side and you can see that this is the newest style door uh, rubber. Again, this is a second hand one, but it's a newer style one. And they've got um, <coughs> two splits, a split there on the front for this one down here and this one down here, which is a rain channel, that's why they're in it. <coughs> so as you close the door on it, it opens it like this. You can imagine, so as you shut the door, these are pushed open so that the rain can come out. Obviously these steps have been patched because it is a track car I wasn't going to put a new piece in and again the same thing and then the join goes in the middle so you want to line them up on there but as I said there's nothing wrong with the seals they'll do what they need to do and it's a track day car so as I said I've just fitted the seals in just to get them to bed in for a day or so um, this car is going to have polycarbonate windows so polycarbonate rear windows quarters and the front windows there um, and so we have to come up with a system now what we'll do is use the original um, seal that goes in here because the polycarbonate's the right size so we'll put a new one in there there's no need for it to go down the bottom because obviously it's not running on anything it's solid window and then we'll uh, get an aluminium piece channel we can put in there or whatever so we can screw it or rivet it from the other side because it will be a solid window in both of these so uh, that's how we're going to work it okay um, last little bit of information on this so you can see the wheel arch is on this is this stuff is from Huddersfield mini spares and there are different types <clears throat> now the first one we had when you buy these uh, mini Migley arches uh, you have to fiberglass or attach these brackets yourself. So when you're doing them, as you can see, the screws are quite long on them. You see, it's quite a, quite a long screw on that. So if you are doing this, don't be tempted to come too far up here on the edge. As you can see, see so the camera works not great. You can see there's a little dip in there. If you can, try and do the bracket a little bit further down because there's plenty of room to go through the body. Um, and that'll give you, that'll save you cutting any of this to get round this piece. And I'll show you inside. These are not even tightened, just hand tightened. And you can see how much of the bolt is uh, sticking out. So there's plenty of room on them. So that's a little tip. If you're going to put these on, just take them back a little bit so that when you slip, 
this U channel on, it goes on nice and easy. I think I can do it with one hand. Now this as I said, this stuff is from Huddersfield Mini Spares and it's really good. Fits really nice and tight. There is another style <coughs> which is this stuff and it's not so good. You can see it's, it's this is quite difficult to put on and it tends to bunch up a little bit. I think the idea generally was when you put this on, it's around the wrong way, this, this goes on the inside. So you imagine I'll take this off. This stuff goes on the ins on the inside. So the idea is it was you have to cut it out a little bit to go around, but I think that rubber was there just to stop splash back up on the wheel. But to be honest, the seal on there is more than good enough, as you can see all the way around. So there is different types, but this is definitely this U uh, from Huddersfield Mini Spares and other other companies as well do it. This is much better. It's a much better grip on it. This is obviously for the front, um, and then it's very easy to, to pop on and you can see I can do that almost with one hand. So, but that's an idea, just make sure that you've got that little depth there that you need to sit it on. You see how it's just, it's just catching there. If you don't, you have to cut round it a little bit and then you weaken this uh, tube or rubber. So you can see, there's the arch there. That's all looking good. As I said, if you don't do that, you'll find it bumps up a little bit. And this sits really nice. This is not tight yet. Again, I just put it on. Um, I just want to make sure it's sitting as best it can. And obviously this car is going to have all these black edgings, uh, not the metal ones that are sprayed. There's no need for that. Um, so that'll be all the way around. Now the reason it only goes up to there is because obviously there is no returned edge here. So when the carbon fibre bonnet comes on, we use this again to come up here and through onto the carbon fibre bonnet just to give it a bit of strength. Plus here where the holes are is where there's an aluminium plate goes in there, which is a guide for the bonnet to go on. So that's how we're doing it. So a couple of little tips there, use them if you want. Um, what I have been told by Paul Jeffries and Peter Wilkes, who have been on a couple of videos of mine, um, that these polycarbonate rear windows are quite, can be quite difficult to put in because they're very flexible. You actually need somebody on the inside to, to push it out because it'll bow on you. Uh, side windows, not such a big deal. The front window certainly won't be any issue as long as we get it nice and tight. So um, what I will do is put this back window in first because I can reach around the side to hold it on both sides because he says you need like three pairs of hands sometimes with it. Uh, and we'll see how we get on. So there we are, that's what we're up to so far. So I'm going to put this arch on now. Here. I put this arch on, it's already, it was already pre-done. So I'll get that going. And a couple of other jobs I've got to do. Um, um, I've made this pipe up. It's only a piece of, it's only a, it, you can see it's I, I, it's, I know it's gold, but it was the only paint I had that had, was kind of heat resistant. So as you can see, that'll fit quite nicely there and come up the back. I've just got to cut it off. And I need to change this 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 bottom uh, radiator hose, like I said, and put make up this um, breather. But I, I'm going to make this breather in such a way um, that uh, we actually open the breather up, and because it's on an angle, I want it to come out a certain come out a certain way. So that's that that will be done. Unfortunately, that rocker new rocker coming from. UK hasn't turned up yet, the one that's been welded. 